I was supposed to get in this weekend, um, but Riddell had to prove a point, sit in the pocket a bit too long. Then, to be fair, those two always cut each other. So, uh, unfortunately, Riddell got cut in his eye, and then at that point, he can't do much with that, you know. So, we came back to the gym, thanks Al, and then I was uh, I caught an earlier flight to come over. Um, Ash wouldn't shut the fuck up, so I, I got an earlier flight, came over, landed about 12 yesterday. Got picked up, um, came to the gym, dropped my shit off, came to the gym, got into it. Uh, yeah, it's good to be back. Listen, whenever you come back, you you know the mode, you know the feeling, the atmosphere. Uh, it's fun, but it's it's work time. So, like I said, uh, Fox and Great Nick, he always is. So, just reviewing some stuff, covering some stuff, always asking questions, which is good. And. Um, we're about four and a half, about four weeks out, four and a half weeks out, I'd say. Um, so it's exciting, man. Like I said, it's always exciting. Um, and still, you know what I mean? This is a, this is a tough opponent. Elliot Zaporia is no slouch at all. Undefeated, big following behind him. Uh, he's got the Georgians behind him. He's got the Spanish behind him. Good on him, you know what I mean? But um, I definitely think this will be his, his biggest test. Uh, you know. Falk's been at the top for a bit, you know, for a while now, and um, there's a reason for that, you know, whether it's work ethic, whatever you want to call it, but um, whether it's his attitude and his passion, his drive, uh, however you want to swing it, um, it's exciting though, you know, because it's a new challenge. Coaches get to get together. It's good to see Uncle Joe. I should say Abuelo. It's good to see Abuelo Joe. Um, another couple of weeks, you know, the Rager will be in, Craig. He's fucking dancing around the world right now doing seminars when he should be fucking here so hopefully he comes out early but uh like i said man it, it's good it's it's the atmosphere and a lot of the other boys are in camp as well colby's going to be fighting in march lockjaw's fighting amina's fighting yellow feathers fighting so everybody's on the same page when it comes to this stuff and um like i said it's great to be here uh, I'm excited. Beautiful weather in Windang, which is very, very, very rare. Usually this place stinks, but I think they've done a bit of cleaning up. So, um, like I said, it's good to be here. So we've got a little uh, inside joke. Every time Frank comes, he gets the first shout. I do. I get the first coffee. He doesn't realize that I need breakfast though, so he's got to pay for that as well. He thinks it's just a coffee, but I've got to get my green juice. One, one hash brown. One nah, egg. Nah, I'm eating good. One scrambled egg. Nah, I get a little feed. After I just got fucking abused for fucking 45 minutes. So I hit up Geordie because uh, I've obviously got my, my diet plan. Athletes Nutrition. Hey, how are you, mate? How you been? Good, mate. How you been? Yeah, good, man. Good. Yeah. What's been happening? Oh, I'm a smartest. Stay out of trouble. Oh, yeah? You still play footy? 
Yeah, I'm going back to a religious youth. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah bro. Oh, nice. How yeah. good's that? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Mate, I uh, always sit there and be like, oh, imagine if I went back and did like a year and all that, man. I don't know if my body could fucking do it. Oh, the metal again, I bet. Oh, nah, nah, mate. Oh, <laughs> my body will fall apart. <laughs> anyway, I'll see ya. You too, man. You have a good one, huh? See, see you later. Yeah. yeah, so uh, I usually got my, my diet clean. Athletes Nutrition, so uh, Geordie, my dietitian, usually uh, connects with uh, the guy that does all my meals, Athletes Nutrition, and uh, they, they got my, you know, he sends me all the food under the, the diet recommendations from Geordie, obviously, uh, but sometimes I'll go out and Geordie will give me like some options that I can do. So you read out a, a bit here. So obviously he gave me cafe uh, options, and he's just talking about you know, obviously straight after a spider workout, you want to make sure you're getting the carbs that you burn out in the spider. You know, topped up for tomorrow's sparring and that as well. So it gives you, a, you know, a whole breakdown of everything. Mix of fast and slow digesting carbs. Having fruit smoothies. There you go, got stuff like that. Eggs, protein, you know. All the right stuff. So it gives you a whole spiel of, you know, why I should be eating it. Very important with the training we're doing. Not only uh, for recovery, but uh, to get the right energy for the next sessions, like tomorrow sparring. So you want to make sure you're eating good, help recover, you know, get the everything back in, and then get it reloaded for tomorrow as well. So, yeah, a lot of people are like just so, uh, you know, weight cut focus or losing weight focus that they're not really putting in the nutrients and the carbs and whatnot you need for the next session. But Jordy keeps us on our toes and makes sure we're doing that. Eggs on toast, yes, thank you. Thank you, man. I'm a pepper guy. I don't know, he's probably going to come like here, yeah, they're trying to organise it. Probably like the last couple of weeks or something last week. Simple but nice. She had a bread with butter. Eggs. It's funny, the Avo smash is usually well. No matter where I go, always get Avo smash. I love Avo smash. Ah, we'll get him, mate. We'll get him. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you. Is that one, huh? Is that Frankie? Say, Frankie. What's up, my man? You good? Hello. How are you? Yeah, you're the favorite. When we watch the fights, and you guys all come out. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie.